I've been using this stuff, but as I mentioned in the last video, it was a bit gritty. I found the solution was to use loads more water. But that's basically gone. Pretty much empty, so I'm going to finish that one off. Give this one a go. Never tried it before. 48 grams of protein in a double scoop which is what I normally do for breakfast. It is leg day though, so I'm gonna go get that smashed now. Just got back from the gym and I can already tell, maybe not tomorrow because Dom's, but Monday I am not gonna be able to walk properly. I'm gonna be walking like a penguin. Quality. Yeah, and I'm gonna make some lunch. Nothing exciting, I have chicken breast and whatever else I can pray together with it. So I'm going to get on, get cleaned up, get some lunch on the go. Just before I do go and do that though, I uh, had a bit of a brain brainwave thought, something. These things, knee sleeves, are actually pretty good. I was a bit sceptical to start with just because they were cheap, but they did the job for me. As I've kind of mentioned in a few other videos, I've torn my ACL and my right leg I've had two knee operations, a hip operation, and I've got another operation in December for it because I royally screwed it, not once but twice. And a friend recommended like the rebound ones. I couldn't get them because they didn't like my postcode. So these Amazon alternatives, the Scorpion 7mm neoprene knee sleeves, were actually pretty good. I hadn't realised you'd get so kind of hot wearing them. Uh, I need to put these in the wash basically because they got a bit bit sway, a bit gross. But I would recommend, if you've not used knee sleeves before and are uh, into training, yeah, give them a go. I'm back to wearing my handy dandy Addy Power weightlifting shoes. I really do like those. I'd recommend some weightlifting shoes if you're into lifting again and your budget allows. I was fortunate at the time to have a bit of spare cash to buy them, so I did, and I went with the best ones I could could afford, really. Which are meant to be either the, the Addy Powers or the Nike Remedios, but the Nikes were about £50 more expensive, so I opted to get the Addy Powers, which are the the equivalent to the Nike Remedios. And I wouldn't squat without them anymore, just because I think they are that beneficial for me personally. Yeah, and I do. I, I might do with what's in my gym bag actually after I've, I've filmed this bit, just because I've in the last like two and a half years have bought a lot of things. Some of the stuff I would recommend, like the shoes. You can get a pair of shoes. It doesn't have to be those ones, obviously. If you can get some of the lower lower versions, I think Adidas had to a pair. I paid 120 pound for those Addy Pures. Addy no Addy Powers. I'll do a video about it actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it after this actually. I am going to weightlifting equipment at Forts after this. So yeah, let me, let me go get cleaned up, get my lunch sorted out, and then I'm going to get all my, my gym stuff out and go through what I, what I have, what I recommend. Yeah, let's do that. Back in a bit. Let's talk about my gym gear. This is my 10mm leather belt. I've not used that in a while. Uh, mainly because where I have my surgery, I'm still working back up to weights I used to use, so it's not really been required. As I mentioned earlier, my new knee sleeves. These are just some cheapo wrist wraps I got off Amazon, but they do the job. This is a belt. You attach a weight to the the chain, wrap around your waist, and you can do dips, pull ups, etc. It's just a weighted an assisting belt. That's just some chalk in a 
Tupperware container. These I absolutely love. These are my lock jaws. They are the just the red ones. I think these are about twenty pounds. I got them. I've had them ages. Also, as I mentioned, my Adidas Adi Power weightlifting shoes. And then this is just some of my mobility stuff. These are <laughs> good look. Just I roll them down the back of my spine, and this one is a bit more flexible. How you can use it. And then this is just a foam roller. So that's my gear. Let's go through each bit and kind of explain what I think is necessary and what isn't. I hope this isn't too too bad. It looks straight and stable. Um, just a little low. Yeah, we'll go with it. Right. What I think you need. Technically, none of it. You don't need any of the stuff that's here. Is it helpful? Definitely. Let's, let's start with the leather belt. This is a little dusty because I've not used it in a while. Hence why I don't see. That's why I say nothing is technically essential here. But this I got from strengthpower.co.uk. It's a 10mm leather belt. Probably all you need. Fairly generic. Wrap around your waist, helps you with your squats, deadlifts, etc. I think this one cost me about 60, 60 pounds. So they're not cheap, but if you can afford one and you're into lifting weights, go for it. Knee sleeves again, are they needed? Not really. Do they help? I think so. Again, I've only used these once and that was today. And where I'm building back up after my knee operation, they definitely assisted. Before I was doing about 60k, which I think is about 135 pounds. I don't know the conversion of pounds because I'm not American. But today I got up to about 75 kgs. So that's quite a jump up for me and I wasn't uncomfortable, didn't hurt. So they definitely helped me today. Um, these ones were 20 pounds, like I said in my last video. Worth a go if you're into leg day, which you should, because you shouldn't skip leg day. This, as I mentioned, is a just a chain belt. Wrap it around your waist, you won't be able to see, because uh, this is a tie. Attach the weight, dips, or whatever. Pull-ups. I think this one cost me about 15 quid off of Amazon. I don't really use it that often, because I don't feel like I need to, uh, but it can be handy at times. These are my RDX wrist wraps I got off Amazon. I think these cost me four ninety nine. Really cheap, and I literally only use them if I'm benching, which is normally once a week, and I'm only when I'm lifting heavy bench. I don't tend to use them warm ups. Only when I use them working sets, and if I ever do front squats, just because I find when you're doing that kind of action with the front squat. It can like, put some unnecessary strain on your wrist and I'm not about that. So I rock the wrist wraps. Bench. Bench and front squats, bench and front squats. Those I would recommend just because they're so cheap. You should be able to afford five pounds for a pair of wrist wraps. So definitely go for those. These are my Locked your collars. There we go. Locked your collars. I think these are again 20 or 30 pounds. I will look them up and put a link in the description for them. But I would really recommend these. I I use these every time I go to the gym. I don't know if you've seen the crappy metal ones you get, where it's kind of like the you have to squeeze and push on to the, the barbell or whatever you're using. And they're terrible. Sometimes they don't even fit the barbell you're using. These Lock on, as they say, clip, and you're done. Nice and secure, that weight isn't going anywhere. 100% recommend. Chalk. My gym doesn't provide chalk. So I bought some. I know you can get anything. This is all kind of sealed in there. But that's my chalk. I don't really use it that often because I don't find my grip is that bad. It's really handy to have. And again, it's so cheap that you can... I know there's particles coming off on screen, but they're 
everywhere. Cheap enough to to get. You can get the liquid stuff. I don't really like that though. I think it's not as good as the. It's not as good as the the real stuff. That's what it says on the tin, like Ron Seal. And then, last but not least, my Addy Powers. These are pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I like them. If you have problems with your mobility, the the raised solid hill definitely helps. And I got chalk all over the floor after doing that. But as I say, these are quite expensive, and you don't really need them. You can get away with squatting barefoot if your gym allows it, or you can just use some really skinny soled shoes. I tend to use hold that thought. For deadlifts and so on, I use these crappy old vans, and they've seen much better days. But they've got a really thin sole, good grip, and they're ch they were cheap. I can't remember how much I paid for them because I've had them that long. I probably had these the whole time I've been going to the gym, so probably two about two and a half years. And if you're going to deadlift or anything, definitely go for these. You don't want to be using something like that because the heel is no good. And that's everything I take to the gym. If you haven't stumbled across this, have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Yeah. Oh, and stretchy pants. Gotta have a pair of stretchy pants. These are, these are gym shot ones. And uh, these are brilliant for squatting in. Yeah, let's wrap this a little bit up and I'll be back in a bit. Back in my awesomely lit room, just to wrap this video up because I didn't film anything earlier on because I just didn't. Don't know what else to add really. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up for the day. I've edited all the rest of this video already. I'm going to put this little clip on the line, get some tunes, bang it on over the top because 